Hey guys and welcome back to RoboCAD. In this SolidWorks tutorial, I will explain you how to model this connecting link for the robotic rippers. So let's begin. So I'm gonna open a new part file and click OK. After that, I will change the background to plain white. And then I will select front plane and click on sketch. And after that, I will create here a reference line. So I'm gonna create here a midpoint line that is perfectly horizontal and I will make it as a construction geometry then I will assign a relation horizontal and after that I will assign a dimension so this is going to be 31 millimeter long so one thing that I forgot to tell you earlier that I'm selecting MMGS as you know that is millimeters and then I will create here two circles on the corner of the line so the diameter of the one bigger circle is going to be 8 millimeter and the other one is going to be 3 millimeter so I will specify that since I need these two circles on the other side so I will mirror that to the other side for that I need a reference vertical center line and I will select this line make sure that this is vertical right and then I will select mirror entities I will select these two circles and then in mirror about window I'm gonna select this line and it's gonna get mirrored like this check the box okay now I will create here a center rectangle at the origin here okay and then I will hold the control key select the circle and select this point of the rectangle and make relation coincident okay now I want to specify this dimension so this is going to be 5 millimeter okay and then I will select trim entities so this right here is trim entities I will make sure that I selected power trim and I'm gonna trim this area and this area and also on the other side this area and this one okay now the sketch is completed just need to use some fillets so I will select the sketch fillet from here and I'm gonna select this corner and I will specify the radius of the fillet which is going to be 3 millimeter so I will specify here 4 sketch fillets one by one and then check the box okay now the sketch is completed I will go to feature select extruded boss base here, here and the length of extrusion is going to be 4 so I will specify 4 and check the box so our part is completed now for better visualization I'm gonna specify any appearance so I will specify this one so our part is completed and I will be using this part in our upcoming uh, assembly tutorial as well for the robotic gripper so now I will save this file so go to file click on save as and in gripper I'm gonna save it as connecting link so that's all for this tutorial guys thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial